<laughs> Alright, you guys. This is gonna be how to make a, um, a tattoo gun. Alright, the things that you're gonna need is some tape, a pen that I guess exploded, yeah, a motor. I think this is a three horse or something. Um, I doesn't say. A broken spoon, you have to bend it. I found this. Well, it was already broken, so I just bent it. I used a piece of wire. You can use the tar string. Uh, a button. Well, I put a little piece of tape on it so it don't work, you know. And a phone charger. Alright. So the first thing you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to mount your two to your um your um, broken handle. So how you're gonna want to do that is take a little piece of tape. Let's see where's that tape at? Oh, and you need some scissors. And I already cut everything out that I was gonna need, so yeah. Now I'm gonna put a little bit more so it'll be tight. Tonight, midnight Eastern on MSNBC. All right, now that you've done this, um, yeah. all right, um, now you're gonna want to mount your motor to your. I'm taking a little piece of wire because my pants, they're getting butt hurt. Because I think I'm actually going to tattoo my body out. 
but I'm just gonna use a piece of string. Other people that you guys can use guitar string. Um, yeah. So you first want to measure it, and then put it down the hole. I put a little piece of tape on it already. I think I'm probably gonna have to put more, but I'll see. Put, put the button. It could be any kind of button. Doesn't really matter. But let's see if I can get it close to here. Down. That little button right there. You have to put it on there with the little piece of tape so it'll spin. And then you take the wire. I'm gonna turn it. And hold on. Twist it, bend it, and then take it and shove it through the little hole. Guess what? Guess what? All right. Guess what? Okay. You want him to twist the wire, bend it down. All right, now you put it through the hole. I put mine through the hole right there. But it was like that little piece. Then you take rock scissors or something and push down and fold it so it doesn't like come up. Now that you've done that, set this aside and you should wire to cut it. But yeah, yeah, snippies. And have to undo them again. And you have to take these. It doesn't I don't think it really matters which way you put it on. And you just take it and wrap it around the little forks that are on there. All right, now that we put the wires on there, crap, it came out. Yeah. Now that you've done that, oh, what the heck? I should already cut a piece of tape out, but I didn't. But you want to cut a little piece of electrical tape off, and pull it, cut it, oops, cut it. Oh. and then you want to take it and put it on the wires. This is so it doesn't get connected to like anything else. And oh crap, it's a piece of crap. Now you just take this little piece of tape and smash all the wires and stuff down. So it'll just hold on, you know. I'm gonna take this whole and that I have sticking up. Stick it off. Then once you really have it in place, then I just take a little piece of another little piece of tape. Um, oh yeah, a duct tape won't work. I'm telling you that now because um it will mess up the um, connectivity that you have, the stickiness, the stick, the glue that's on duct tape, 
will mess up the connectivity of the wires to the um, 